Hey everyone, welcome back to New Woods here and episode 4 of our Let's Play series. So we're currently just on our way down to the central grain elevator to sell the canola uh, that we harvested in, I think it was field 5 that we purchased in the last episode. So we've got just under 15,000 litres off that field. Uh, what we'll do, we'll sell this and then we'll head back via the store because we need to buy a couple of bags of wheat so we can feed the chickens as we've not fed them yet so they're not actually producing any eggs so I think we need to turn left here so hope everyone's had a good weekend um, if you're in the UK or anywhere else that has had a holiday over the weekend for Easter I would say really glorious sunshine here in the UK uh, the bank holiday weekend so I've had plenty of time um, out in the garden trying to get stuff done so I'll bring up the map and I believe it's just up here on the right hand side if we don't get dragged backwards by that cart oh. So where is the cell point? Have we already gone past it? I don't know. Well, let's put the marker on so I can actually see. Oh, there it is, just there. <laughs> Hidden beyond those trees. So the, the price for canola is around about uh, just over $1,200 per thousand litres, so it's not too bad of a price. So we've got this at a reasonable time. Uh, the, the, these gravity wagons are quite slow to unload. It's one of the downsides to them. Uh, but once we start getting more fields and we start getting bigger yields off the fields we can get another one so we can transport uh, twice as much in one trip so that's eighteen thousand five hundred and six dollars which isn't too bad for that small field considering it wasn't fully fertilized either uh, it's not that car just pulls out doesn't give way yeah, so what we'll do, we'll probably just buy a couple of bags of wheat. Um, I think that will probably be more than enough what we need. Because uh, we haven't got many chickens, so we'll probably buy a few more chickens as well. Alright, so let's get two bags of wheat. And uh, so, there's the right one, isn't it? Wheat bags. So we'll get two of those. And we can put those into the gravity wagon and then feed those to the chickens. We've currently got our worker finishing off the subsoiling on field 8 and when he's finished that we'll get him transferred over to field 5. This is field 5, yep. Yeah. We don't need to spread lime on 5 so we can just get straight on with uh, subsoiling because it does require ploughing and then we can get a new crop planted in that one. Uh, we still also need to get some fertiliser on our oats up in 24, um, which we'll probably do next. While the workers carrying on with the subsoiling on five, uh, just so we do get it done. I don't want to leave it and then it goes to a harvested stage and we miss out on that extra yield. So it looks like our worker is just finished, which is a perfect timing. So we're just going to drop this off to the uh, the chickens first. I'm not quite sure how well we're going to get into the uh, the feed trough with this gravity wagon, because so they're not easy to reverse in. We might just be able to squeeze past that gate. So there we go.
That's a, they have taken all of it. I didn't think they uh, would take all of it for how many chickens we've got. That's not even close to being filled up. So what we'll do is, while we're here, we will buy a few more chickens. So we'll get another 20... 40... Let's try and think. We'll get another 40 of each, so that'll be 2,000... for each one and then 40 brown and I think that should probably be enough then we just let them reproduce to fill up the actual chicken coop I've done that wrong haven't I oh well no. <laughs> We're getting more than I more than I thought. Kind of uh, lost count. Yeah, so we need another twenty white chickens to even out. Let's move one of those across. Got one too many now. Oh, I really hate this uh, purchasing an animal, <laughs> animal system. Right, confirm. Right, that's it. So we've got 80 brown, 80 white, and 80 black. And then the one rooster. So yeah, our wheat barley is obviously a, a hell of a lot less than what we need. But what we'll do, we'll get some wheat or barley planted in one of the fields. So we can get some extra chicken feed. Sorry chickens for running you over. But at least they'll start producing some eggs now. And they can start making us some money back. So what we'll do, we'll get this parked up. I'll get the worker switched over to field 5. And then we'll get the uh, field 24 sprayed with some fertilizer. Right, so our workers all set up on field five. I did have to do a couple of passes around the headland on that one. It's a bit of an odd shaped field in comparison to the way the workers go. Obviously they only go in certain directions without the multi-angle terrain. Um, and because of that, <laughs> you kind of have to go slightly diagonally across the field um, to get the worker to go so hopefully they can do that without any issues and not end up in the uh, the stream. So what we need is first we need to change the tyres. We'll get the narrows on. We're going to customise and we want the narrows. And then we can get our sprayer on. Um, hopefully it's got liquid fertiliser in. And again I'd Oh yeah, it's full. I can't remember if I transferred over what was in this one from the other map. Oh, obviously I did. There, so it's completely full. I think I actually filled it up. It's one thing I should have done with the the cedars um, and the planter was because we had a few pallets of fertilizer and stuff lying around. I should have completely filled everything up with those and then transferred over because it's easy to transfer um, stuff into an implement when you get it in game using the developer tools so what we're going to probably do is turn off the AI vehicle extension uh, <laughs> For one of these jobs where even top down view it's very difficult to see exactly where you've gone. <laughs> that we might actually uh, just leave a worker to do this and then finish off any bits missed. So you can see on field 5, uh, standard square fields like north and south, and then you've got like the east west orientation. The worker would work either way and they're fine because <laughs> this one's slightly a diagonal to those the worker will either work 
left to right across that way and work its way up. So I've kind of set it off going up and down, um, which will increase its length at some point. So a bit of an odd field. So I did have to do a couple of passes around uh, one because it looked like it was going to turn a bit too much into that stream there and into the road. But one thing I wanted to check while I was here was fertilization. So that's fertilizing fine. So what I'll do is I'll stop the worker there. At uh, this end of the field, you could probably tell to the left-hand side, there's a slightly uh, a patch of grass that's uh, a different length to the rest. Because the field boundaries are extremely close, even though we don't own that grass field to the left-hand side, when I add the worker subsoil in, it still managed to uh, subsoil up some of the grass field. Um, so I had to go back over it. And this is where some of the field boundaries are a bit probably a bit too close because I could go over that with a planter and plant grass on a area of land I don't own um, but it still allowed me to do it for some reason so a little bit odd so I'm presuming the land boundary um, as to where we la own must be somewhere back further in this field a little bit So just one to watch out if you do some of these fields close together that your workers don't jump over to the other field and start cultivating the crop that you've got growing or um, ready to harvest and you cultivate one field and it jumps across to the next one which I have had happen in 17 on I think it was Lone Oak uh, leaving a worker to cultivate one field come back to find out he's halfway through cultivating in my soybeans in another field which were like uh, nearly ready to harvest <laughs> so it's a little bit annoying so that's all we'll do is just do a pass around the field and then leave the work so it should make it a little bit easier for him and then what we'll do we'll jump in the new holland with the cedar um, We'll get some, probably do some wheat in field 8 I think it is, yeah field 8, get some wheat planted in that one, or seeded, sowed, whichever way you, you want to say it. We'll just do this one pass up at this end of the field and then let the work carry on. Uh, if I had GPS enabled on this tractor I'd probably just do it using the GPS but we only have I can't remember if we installed GPS on the Magnum or whether it's just on the New Holland right. so that should be okay there let's just check it's not missing a tiny bit no, that's fine so we'll jump out to that one we'll grab the New Holland And um, we'll also get the cedar. So I did say um, when I tried to use the worker with this tractor. Um, with this seed drill on field 24 it wouldn't work. It just kept saying it had finished. Not 100% sure exactly what the problem is. I don't know if it's something to do with the AI vehicle extension causing a, an issue. Because I did... employer work out so it did hire a worker to start with a little bit and it also allows me to hire a worker for follow me and stuff so not quite sure why it wouldn't let me use the worker for that field so I'll do get that switched on lower down and get this one done so I do wheat in this one um, And then field five. Possibly look at doing. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll think about field five. Uh, what we'll do in that one. 
I might do some some corn no we've just done corn I know we'll, we'll do some sunflowers I think in that one what we'll do we'll get this one finished first and then hopefully our workers not far off finished on five and then we can get straight over there with the, uh, the planter and get that one done as well Okay, so last pass for the wheat. Uh, it has come up, both our workers have finished, although I can see from here that the worker on field five hasn't finished. I think he's come to a point where the angle's a bit too tight for him to pick up the rest of the field, so we'll have to go and sort that out. And looking at where, where the worker's finished on 24, it looks like he's completely done that field. So that's the wheat done, so we can get that folded up. Yeah, so field 24 is fully done and yeah the worker didn't do a huge amount i might have to change the angle um he's going at to go left to right across the field it does mean it's going to do a lot more passes but it means the worker's probably going to be able to do it a lot easier so if we get this back uh, just get rid of those lines And then what I'll do, I'll get the get the worker on five. I'm sorted out. It would be nice to have a uh, slightly bigger subsoil or plow. At the moment, we don't have a tractor powerful enough to pull anything bigger um, in that sort of subsoil call to plow category. The New Holland, we could actually increase the horsepower on this up to 435, I think is the the most we could go up to. Um, now that would mean we would be able to pull the 8 meter quality plow, which I think is 420 horsepower. Um, but then obviously that costs quite a lot of money for the upgrade on the tractor. And also then to buy the quality plow, so We'll make do with the uh, the four meter one for now. And we could always buy a second four meter one, which would be a cheaper option, uh, just to get that done quicker. But the field's not huge, so it's not too much of an issue. So, as our worker, what I'll do is I'll get this folded up and out of the field. So that's the oats all fully fertilised. So the next stage for those will be to harvest them when they are ready. So we just drop this back off here. So once we get a another shed built, we can start moving some of this equipment, and swap it around where it's stored. But up here, I'll do for now. Just lower that down, drop that off. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll go and get field five all sorted so then we can get the sunflowers planted in that. And I think what we'll do is we'll look again some grass cut. As I think our grass field um, is ready to cut. So we could cut all that and do some silage bales, take those up to the barn, which is just up here to sell and see how much money we can get off those. Right, so I've sorted the worker out, uh, but hopefully you should be able to finish that field off without too many issues now. So all I'll do is head down to this area down here, field 4, and we'll cut all the grass on this section. Right, so then we'll get it raked up, 
um, bale. Uh, what we'll do then we'll uh, probably buy the bale wrapper, the square bale wrapper, and we'll do some uh, silage bales. I do want to try and buy another couple of fields and then what we'll do we'll start looking at working towards getting the cows because I think pretty much that was the the animal type that got the most suggestions um, and I think it's the one I'd pretty much like to do as well um, to start with because we didn't do any cows at all on Ravenport so we'll have a look at working towards them and what I want to do with the cows is fully concentrate on building those up um, getting up to around about 180 cows in the large cow pasture and seeing how well we can do from those with the milk and obviously then we'll get some slurry manure that we can use on our fields instead of buying fertiliser and what we will do as well at some point is look at upgrading our mower set up so we can get the, the twin butterfly mowers uh, which we will need to use a higher horsepower tractor because the Maxim is only just about powerful enough to pull these two I think these two combined require at 170 horsepower I think the maximum, maximum is 175 so just about powerful enough to pull both these mowers but just to get these sort of jobs done a little bit quicker we will look at upgrading at some point so this area of grass that isn't actually a bad size um, we've not got it fully fertilized though so we're not going to get the, the full yield and I don't think this section is quite fully grown um, well, if we'll get it cut, we'll get um, get some fertiliser on it, so we get a better yield next time. Uh, so as it looks like, there's a, a few bumps down this end, uh, but this section is not actually classed as a field, so. Unfortunately, one of those things, I can't get a worker to, to do some of this. I think the field only comes up to there and possibly if we are going to get cows I think on this field um, somewhere is where we'll put the cow shed as to which one we'll use yet I'm not sure we have got the one that come with the map which is only $10,000 which is a hell of a lot cheaper than the in-game one which I think is 300000 for the uh, same price so I think we probably will use that one I don't like the fact it's only 10,000 but uh, for some reason that's how it was set up on the map. So we've got probably two more passes on this. And then we'll get the rake. Uh, we'll get the, the new Holland following on Follow Me with the baler. So we can get the grass baled up as we go. I'll be interested to see how many silage bales we get off this and how much money we actually make off this field. I've got one tiny, tiny little strip to do down that end. So if we can switch off the rear mower, we don't need that one now. So the work is still going away, it's going to take a little bit longer on field 5 because of the way we were having to get him to go across that one. Um, I do need to try and get course play updated, um, the version I've got 
currently having a few issues with it kind of ghosting on the screen with the menu when you when you disable the menu it kind of leaves writing still across the bottom of the screen uh, which is a little bit of annoying so I've disabled it on all my game saves at the moment um, so I do need to check see if there's been a, an update to that and get that back in because that would be rather handy to have so what I'll do I'll go and get the rake and um, we'll get the baler on the new Holland and then we'll get that all bailed up right, so we've got the rake and the workers following the new Holland and the baler so what I just need to do is get that unfolded as the worker crashes into the back of us just need to stop them and unfold the baler get that switched on and the load down we have got a little bit of hay in there so the first bale is going to be hay and then the rest is going to be grass so once we get this done then we'll head over to the store and pick up the square bale wrapper um, I was thinking about doing the Anderson I can't remember the name of it the uh, the one that puts them into the the continuous wrapped bales um, it's one of those at some point I do want to try it out uh, just to see what it's like uh, what it's like that extra bit of work that you've got to take the bales all to that and wrap them then I've got to load them up so I'm thinking the normal bale wrapper might be a, a little less hassle at the moment maybe when we get the cows you know, to do some silage bales using that because then we can keep them stored somewhere on the side of the field and I'll just take ones out as and when we need them for mixing up total mix ration Right, last couple of passes on the grass and that will be all done one other thing I think as well as the mowers upgrading those at some point we will look at getting a slightly bigger rake just to speed these jobs up as well a little bit so I'm not sure exactly how many bales we've got obviously the first one was a hay bale um, but it looks like we've got a decent amount and considering they are like 8,000 8, litre bales so We've only got half as many as we would have with the standard baler. So looking around, we've got probably two still on the baler. Seven there, I think. Eight. So we're at about ten bales in total, I think. Uh, which is still, well, 80,000 litres of grass. So that's that tiny last little bit, so we can get that folded up. And I'll just stop that one there and... So I've got 57% of one final bale. So just stop the worker, turn the baler off and get that unloaded. Get that folded up. So let's have a look at the, the menu and see... Uh, where are we? So created bales 11 in total, so we've got 10 grass bales and then the one hay bale which is not too bad so we want to get that back on following the worker so I'll get these off the field and then we'll head over to the store uh, pick up the bale wrapper we'll get those wrapped up they'll all fit on the, the one trailer on our Anderson bale collector so it's only one trip up to the barn, which is rather handy. Um, not quite sure what the price of silage currently is, so I'm interested to see ex exactly how much we make off these. It looks like our work has finished on field five. Just have to check whether he's completely done everything. It looks like he has. See a tiny little bit that's been missed. Uh, so we can get our seed uh, planter over there because we're going to plant some sunflowers so we'll get that done first though we want to get the square bale wrapper well 
say square bar wrapper it does square and round bales so you can do either or either with that one so i was thinking about getting i think it's this one here the hybrid x extractor um, which is a little bit cheaper it's 34,900 uh, but that would mean we'd have to pick up all the bales and then take them to that and um, rather than just drive around to the actual bales with the wrapper and then we can get those with a collector so we're going to get this uh, it's going to come in handy and oh, foil color i'm going to go with pink because i'll never do pink so we'll buy that one and get that hooked up So it's took us down to 162,000. Should be enough to get us at least one more field, which I do want to do uh, before we start getting the cows. Uh, preferably, I'd like to get two more fields, uh, just so we've got a decent amount of fields then to uh, work while we're waiting for crops to grow and stuff like that. So I was having a look and thinking field one which is just over the other side of the, the stream over there would be a, a decent field to get, it's not a bad price field for the size of it. Um, it's got no, I think it's got sunflowers growing in that one, um, so possibly could look at getting that one. And then one smaller field as well. Now, depending on how much we make off these silage bales and how much money we've got so we don't need to switch this on or anything it's just drive through wrap it and away we go i don't know if anybody's used the the round bale wrapper from the anderson dlc but that thing to me it seems extremely slow compared to this one and the ursus round bale wrapper it does seem a hell of a lot slower. I used it on the Felsburn time lapse series recently. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it wraps uh, about four or five times more than it needs to. Okay, so last bale to wrap up and then what we'll do we'll grab the bale collector and then get up to the barn so currently the price for silage is let's have a look 310 uh, which isn't too bad so that's gonna be 2400 uh, just over per bale so it's around about 24,000 uh, for the 10 bales uh, which is nearly half the price of the bale wrapper are back already so that's not too bad so next time we do that field for silage bales we'll get it fully fertilized and it will be fully ready to harvest so we should get probably about 15 bales or so maybe a little bit more um so we should be able to get back the uh the money for the wrapper quite quick So I'll just grab the bale collector. As I say, I still need to sort out these uh, fertilizer bags. Which I'll probably try and get done before the next episode, if I can. Uh, which I may try and record uh, straight after this one, because I've got a little bit of time today. So. Hopefully I can get a little bit of head on this series as I don't want to end up like the last one and having to miss episodes. So we get this ready to pick up the bales.
I do like the way the way um, how this one works. It's quite cool. It, it picks the bales up and rotates them round to drop them onto the trailer. It looks like it doesn't turn too tight. There's the third bale. Uh, so what I'm thinking is at this end, somewhere around here, we'll have a look um, putting the cow shed in this section um, if it'll fit. I'm not sure how well it'll go because the ground's a little bit uneven here and that road kind of slopes up a bit so kind of see uh, the best way of fitting it in um, which orientation and then whatever's left, left on the grass if we do cut into this field a little bit with the cow shed then we'll look at what area is left that's not actual field we'll cultivate that in and replant grass so we've got a good area of actual grass field so one last bale and we can head up to the barn I forgot I don't know if I mentioned it on the uh, the last episode when I put that little dirt patch there to park the trailers up. I've kind of made a bit of sense to utilise that area for those. So what we need to do is head up to the barn, which is a bit of an off-road trek. If any of you have been up there, I have I've briefly had a look at the way to get up there when I was having a look around earlier. At fields to buy. Uh, just check how I'm, yep. check how I'm going. So we've got to watch out for bears up here. Hopefully there's no grizzlies around here. Uh, this tractor's struggling a little bit. It's quite funny uh, on this game it, sometimes it's difficult to tell how steep sections are until you drive up them and realise it does quite take it out of the tractors quite a bit so one of the fields I was looking at was this one just to the left here through the trees uh, which is field 6 uh, not a huge field but it's not that expensive and then you've got field 1 just behind that one uh, which is the one I probably will look at getting and I said at some point it would be nice to buy some land around here we can do some forestry work so if we continue around this way yeah, so I think next time we'll use the uh, the New Holland to transport the bales up here so we're going to go over this rickety bridge And then we've got the. I don't think you can sell wood here like you can on Ravenport. I think it is just the uh, the bale sell point. So I don't think there's any wood sell trigger. I think there is only the sawmill. I still think the biomass uh, heating plant in Ravenport should take wood chips as well. So let's get this unloaded. So around about 24,000 trying to work out what the and 24,200 24,834 in total so let's get that folded up so that's the price uh, seems a bit of an odd amount Alright, so that's that done. So what we'll do, we'll finish this episode here. Um, next episode we'll get 
field five planted and we'll also look at probably the oats in field 24 are probably ready to harvest as well so we can get those done we'll bale the straw up so we've got some straw bales in stock for bedding and we'll possibly look at oh geez that's uh, quite bumpy there uh, we'll look at buying the another field as well uh, say so possibly field one uh, which we have got enough money for uh, which has, has got some flows in as well so maybe if that one has got some flows and we buy that one uh, we'll probably plant something different in field five uh, but we'll see so if you have enjoyed this episode then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up i really do appreciate it and if you've not yet subscribed to the channel then please please do consider subscribing because we've got new farm simulator 19 videos coming every day and if you do have any questions comments or suggestions then please do leave it down in the comment section again any questions i will answer as soon as i possibly can so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one thank you again goodbye